In this lesson, we will have our first project, which is a Hello LED. When the LED is blinking, we are going to program it uh, with Arduino and power it also with battery. As you can see, it's not connected to anything. After programming, it runs. So we first, we have to learn what a resistor is. Then we will get familiar with LEDs. After that, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to use breadboard. And then we will come back here and we do the wiring and we are going to learn how to program and I will explain the code so we can do this LED blank. ESP32 starter kit from SunFounder. This is the best ESP32 learning kit from SunFounder. It has this ESP32 microcontroller which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This board can do everything Arduino Uno can do or many other Arduinos can do, plus extra more features. Because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the possibilities are endless. You can get connected to the cloud or do the control or read information or values via your mobile device or your desktop or over the cloud from a far location. It comes with a camera extension kit where you can stream the video over Wi-Fi either through the cloud or to your network and also it comes with micro SD card where you can save uh, images on the micro SD card or you can write from the device any information log the information on the device and read it back you can power the board using this included 18650 lithium battery and it has built-in charger where you can connect micro USB and charge the battery the kit comes with 320 pieces of component that you can learn tons of projects. What is a resistor? This page is from Wikipedia. A resistor is a passive two-terminal component uh, that resists against the current. This is a two-terminal and it has usually four and sometimes five straps of color. It's shown with these two symbols. One is uh, the European and this is the American sum symbols that is displayed. From this website, electronicshub.org, they have a very good image of uh, resistor sizes, for example. For example, this is one eight watt, this is uh, quarter watt, this is half watt, and as you can see, five watts. And there are larger sizes of resistors. As the power of the resistor increases, the size also increases. And here there is, uh, quickly, this is a battery and this is a symbol for the resistor. The current goes, the current is represented by I, the voltage of the battery is represented by V, and the resistance of resistor is represented by R. The resistance that the resistor shows, the unit is ohm. And this is the path of current that goes, and this is bottom also, there is a wire. And I, or the current, is equal to V divided by R. So you can find I using this, for example, if this is 10 volts and this is 2 ohm, 10 divided by 2, 5. There must be 5 ampere current passed through this resistor. Let me explain the color on the resistor. You will get these colors starting from black, it goes up to white and the f each color has a value associated with it black is zero brown is one red uh, orange yellow green blue purple gray and white from zero to nine and this applies for all the three band and for the fourth band as well so for example this one the three band brown black orange this brown, if you come here and you see brown is 1, so you will write 1, and black is 0, you put a 0, orange here is 3, you put 3 zeros, or 10 to the power 3, so you that is 10,000 or 10 kilo ohm, 10,000 ohm or 10 kilo ohm. The last band, usually you will get it either as gold or silver, but these two colors also are possible. Uh, and if these two colors are here, then there will be some 
extra space so you know this color is not starting from that side so the three color will be together and there will be some space so you will start from this one but if there is no space and this is silver or gold you automatically know that you have to read it from this side and this is the tolerance either 5% or 10% this means plus minus 5% in each 100 ohms it goes 5 up or 5 down so in total this is 5% up or 5% down and I will provide you the chart link in case if you want to proceed with other values and for uh, 1 mega ohm we will have we need 6 zeros so 1 0 and this should be 5 zeros you will see this is green so it, this will be green five zeros and then one zero here six it will be one mega ohm An LED has two pins anode and cathode the cathode has this line will be identified by this line and this is the anode the arrow always points toward cathode in some diagrams you will see this double arrow and some of them they just put LED but this is the LED is connected uh, to positive and cathode is connected to the negative what it means is that the two pen will have around two volts difference of potential or they will have two volts in order to turn this on actual physical LED that uh, the longer pen is the anode and the shorter pen is the cathode so you will connect always the positive to this long pen it can be either small this is five millimeter and this is a two millimeter in two millimeter also the long one is a positive this is the anode and the other one is a cathode you can get different color something like yellow blue uh, clear color which is just uh, uh, bright white and many other colors As I mentioned, the LED needs around 2 volts. Of course, the, mm, the voltage of each LED will be different and we have to look at a, a manufacturer's specification sheet or data sheet. But in general, the LEDs that we are using will have around 2 or 2.2 volts on both sides. When you connect this to 5 volts of Arduino or you power this up through Arduino, you have to put a resistor here to make a voltage divider so some portion of the voltage is dropped across this resistor and the remainder which is around 2 volts will appear for this uh, LED so we put a resistor in our case we put a resistor of around 5, 330 ohm to 1 kilo ohm the larger this resistor the dimmer this diode so if you put it very uh, if you put a high value resistor here uh, you might reach to a point that this will not even turn on or you will not be able to see it a resistor can be arranged the other way as well but if you pay attention doesn't matter this is anode anode is connected to positive and the cathode is connected th through this resistor to the negative so in both case anode is connected to positive and cathode is connected to negative and this arrangement does not matter where you put the resistor when you connect this to Arduino or power this up through Arduino of 5 volts, 3 volts will drop here and 2 volts will uh, appear across the LED and will turn this on for us. And the amount of current that each LED draws is around 10 milliampere. And depending on the type of uh, LED, it varies, but generally for the 5 millimeter, 10 milliampere is the average. This learning kit comes with two breadboard, one mini breadboard, one larger breadboard. So we can use these breadboards to do the prototyping and connect our components and uh, learn. In order, to, in order to use the breadboard, let me first explain the breadboard before going further. A breadboard is used to do prototyping before you build the circuit like this, which you will start making PCB and then attaching the components that will turn up to this one but before that you can test it on a breadboard and program it of course this is these are different type of chip that you cannot but you might be able to use uh, uh, these hole through chips 
that you can do the prototyping and testing it. So we will use breadboard to either learn or do the prototyping. For example, this is a seven segment display that I was doing the prototyping. I've connected all the wires here on breadboard for tutorial. Many of my videos I've used these breadboards, so some of them I've just kept them like that. And here's an example of prototyping for a seven segment display all with all these wires. Here is an example of using mini breadboard. I have a lot of tutorials uh, related to electricity, electronic and robotics, including Arduino and sensors. And I've written a lot of codes. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. We have different size of breadboards and the size refers to number of pens or holes it has that you can insert. This is called 830 breadboard which means it has 830 holes. This is called 400 breadboard or 400 point breadboard which has 400 pens. And this is 170 or mini breadboard. So a number of holes, if you just count them, you will see that this has 170 pens. In order for me to demonstrate, I'm going to use this bulb, which is 12 volts, and this is my power supply. And when I connect it, you will see that it will turn on. There is no sound or anything, so I will use this for demonstration. So first, first, let's see, the wire being connected, when I connect these two, the light will turn on. So I'm going to demonstrate it here. On this breadboard, we have line here, blue, and then red or a little pinkish. So this is referring for power supply, so you can connect it. If you pay attention on this side, because the blue is on that side, the, this line blue is also on the other side, and the red is on this side for positive. What it means is that all these holes on this side, they are all connected together, and this line that uh, we have see red all of these are connected or short circuited together and this piece the power bar here if you look at it from the bottom I just remove this piece and you will see that it is one long piece of metal that is connected all together so here I just removed it and as you can see they are all connected in one piece. The same way and this one it's just a shorter version of this. So I'm going to demonstrate it here. Now if I connect this and here and if I connect it to any point you will see that the light will turn on. What it means is that from this side to the end they are all connected and also the same way for a positive if I connect it to the positive and the other wire is in the negative you see these two uh, wires are isolated and if I connect it here you will see that this is all connected the same is true for this side if I connect it you will see that the bulb is on and if I connect it to the red one the bulb is on and if I connect it between the red and blue, the bulb is not on, meaning that this line is separated or isolated from the other side, from the blue side. So when you do prototyping, you will connect your power supply, negative and positive here, and you have a lot of positive and negative available at any point that you need. For example, if you connect five volts, the five volts will be available throughout this board. And then here we have these lines, they're all labeled and also numbered from 1 to 63 here uh, vertically a b c d and e so you can refer to certain points for example and here on each line at the bottom you see one piece of metal connecting them all and if i remove this piece if i push it with this pen And you can see that we can uh, remove it and this is what it is at the bottom so when you insert your wire they just hold your wire like that at the bottom look I can insert it back 
we will see that these lines are all connected like that up to here so these are all connected up to the end and this side are connected this side is isolated from the other side let me show you if I connect this on this line and if I connect it on the same line you will see that bulb will turn on but if I connect it to the next one it will not turn on you see and also if I connect it on this side it will not turn on because these are isolated and if I bring it you will see that this is connected and next line on this side or on this side they are not connected so these are all connected the same is true for this one except it's uh, shorter and you can see it is up to 30 points on uh, horizontally and a b c d up to e is here now let's look, look at the small one in the small one these lines are all connected like that nothing is connected like that but this the middle they are isolated so these lines on one side and these are line on this side and this allows you to insert an IC like that you see this IC you can insert it and it has enough space for IC and the same is true for this let me connect a wire here so you can see it and now if I wire here you will see the bulb will turn on and if I connect it to the next line the bulb is not turning on and to the other one as well and if I connect it on this side the bulb is not turning on because this line is separating them but if I bring this on this side the bulb will turn on it is now true for this one except they've connected multiple of these breadboards if you have a larger project and attach these together for example this can be attached to the next one and you can make and you can make a larger breadboard as much as you want also the the breadboard is sort like this with three breadboards attached together on a piece of metal and we have some terminals so you can connect your power for example you see i've connected my positive and negative and positive i mean connected here so i have here all positive a negative will be connected in here with this four millimeter banana connector and these are exactly the same as the other breadboard at the bottom of the breadboard we have a adhesive and also it has uh, double sided and it has tape with glue in case if you want to attach it to something permanently you can remove this and attach attach it but beside that also you can remove this piece here in case if you want to if you don't need this uh, you can remove it multiple of this and you don't need the power line you can remove this easily like that So here I have removed this piece from this and now still you will have those connecting points where you can connect it a few uh, and you can remove this one as well and connect them together the same way here now as you can see between these two we have only one uh, piece of positive and negative because this had its own positive negative and this one but they removed one of them and you have here something like this and if you look from this side you will see that we have only one of this piece here not two for each breadboard so and here if you want to for example connect these three resistors in series you do it like that just bend the resistors at a certain point insert it somewhere doesn't matter as long as you insert it like that because I mentioned that these are all connected so these are all isolated from each other so the other point is here and I'm connecting another resistor at this point as you can see these two are 
on the same line so these are in series and here I've connected now three resistors in series to to connect three resistors in parallel you will insert one at any point that you want and then insert the second one on the next hole beside it and here I've connected all these three resistors in parallel there so let's do the wiring this is my board and I'm connecting this LED the long pin is the anode or positive I'm inserting it somewhere in the breadboard in these two lines like that let me put this pen at the back so you can see it and then and then I'm going to bend this 220 ohm resistor one side goes to the positive the other side somewhere in here doesn't matter where just somewhere on the other line and the blue wire as you can see here from this point it goes to 26 I'm connecting it to the line where this resistor is connected and then another wire connected to the left pin or to the the ground is connected to the ground in here and this one will go to 26 but let's check our wiring by connecting it to this 3 volts you see this side is USB so I'm connecting it in here and the LED is turned on so our wiring is correct now we can move the blue to pin 26 and here it has been connected to pin 26 as you can see still it's turning on but do not worry because the pen has not been programmed now let's open the code but I've changed this to black in case if you missed the first lesson click on file preferences and from here you can select a light and it will be light I prefer dark so I'm clicking here and click OK now the screen is dark if you open a blank project by clicking on file new sketch this is always the case I'm pressing control and plus so the screen is enlarged we have we have these two code here one is this portion the other is here at the beginning we have void and then we have some name opening and closing parenthesis this is called function in Arduino in C, C++, Java and Python it's called a method and here we call it function and PHP also it's called function so this function has opening curly brace and closing so whatever comes between these two in this area that is called uh, content of this method or function you see here if I bring the mouse it says function and void means it does not return anything and we will learn about return later on in this course this is a loop another a method or function that's a beginning and end this is called comment every time you need to write down for yourself or note something you put two forward slash and then whatever text after that you write is for you and it will be not part of the code the same way in here and we will type our code in here for example and every code in Arduino ends with semicolon at the end we are going to learn that step by step in many projects so practically you will learn better whatever code you write between these two curly braces it's part of setup and it will run only once whatever you write inside the loop 
it will be continuously run. So all the code that you have, it will be line by line. When it reaches to the end, it goes back and repeats it all over again. Let's open the example. The example is located in here. It is example 2.1, which is within the file that we have downloaded. If I go to file, open, and this is the code I've been downloaded inside download. ESP32 starter kit main, and then go to C, and then codes. And here you will see accordingly with the number. 2.1. If it is, if you click here, it will go the other way in ascending order or descending order. So I'm clicking to see it and click and click Hello OLED, click open. The code opens. And let me explain it. The first line here, we are defining a variable called LED pin of type integer which says for this variable we can assign only integer which is true we have a value called 26 which is stored in this variable and const at the beginning it means this cannot change now this is a function after that it's called setup and this is the beginning and that's the end this function runs only once so when we need to or uh, run or execute a code only once we use this function and we put whatever we have between these two if I press enter, so we have we will have it somewhere here. This space will not make any difference. This function pen mode it says get this pen 26 and there is a comma and make or assign it and define it as output. Now the pen can be output or this can be input. This LED pen is coming from here, which means 26. Here I can type 26. This is as if I type 26. It will work the same way. But because we are using 26 multiple times in the code, the best practice is to use a variable instead. And if you want to change it, just change this. All the values will change. So this is defining the pen as an output. And the code will come to this function. To send a signal to a pen, we use digital write. This digital with lowercase and write W with capital W and then we have opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis and in between we have two parameters separated with comma and this is referring for the pen number we will write the pen number here and then we write here high or low and for example if we want to define pen 9 this is referring to pen 9 and High means set pen 9 to high. So this line is setting pen 9 to high. High is a higher voltage of operating of the microcontroller. In ESP32, it is 3.3 volts. And for Arduino, majority of the boards would be 5 volts. And then when you set it low, it will send 0 volt or as if it is turned off function begins here and end here and from the name it suggests that this is a loop and it will run continuously first this function says digital write gets the pen that 26 and comma and sets it at high so it sends high uh, value to this pen 26 which is in this case 3.3 volts and then this line says delay 1000 1000 means 1000 millisecond or one second so the pen is turned on and it waits for one second on after that this line does the same thing gets this pen and sets it to low so the led is now off now we have to keep it off so we can view it for one second here and you can change it for whatever value you want and the led will turn off now the code reaches to this point where it ends and it comes back and it starts turning the LED on, which was off, and then keeps it on for one second, and then turns it off, and keeps it on for one second, off for one second, and it does this task over and over again until you power it off or disconnect it. Now, to upload the code, we first have to select our board. Uh, I've connected this, so this is already connected to check it right click on the start menu here and go to device manager from here select port and you will see usb serial ch 
three four zero and com eight if you don't see it then it means you need to install the driver because your system or computer is not supporting it i will provide you a link so you can select and download the driver now we have to select the port for this so arduino ide can work with it now let's select the board there are two ways one way is to come here and click and search for the board the other way is to click on tools board and then you can go for ESP32 which we just installed and here you can see a lot of options available and here it says ESP32 dev module we will select this one and the module is selected this the board is now selected now we have to select the port from here we can select the port already it shows com8 I'm not going to click on that let's let me show you another way tool port and here com8 is shown here so I can either click on this and you see it has been selected or click in here and we can upload the code now I can check the code by clicking this button it will check it you can see here it's checking at this point at the bottom so it's done now we can click on this button to upload it there I'm clicking upload at the bottom it shows it's uploading again this bar graph should reach to the end you see in terms of percent it goes until 100 percent hard reset the LED started blinking congratulations if the LED blinks you have successfully finished or run your first project now if you want to change this let's say faster make it 300 millisecond and 300 millisecond update it and upload the code again I'm clicking and uploading it and again you will see the percent and it's connecting until it's 100 percent and just wait now 300 milliseconds it's just running faster you can change the code for example the off the on should be let's say five second and off should be half a second like that five second is five thousand millisecond and then upload the code let's see this time so it should stay on for five seconds very long and then off for one second let's see when it's hundred percent you will see the effect now it's on five seconds and then short off and then long on thank you for watching please thumb up the video if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel please post your comments below this video i'll try to answer and reply